This is still not real to me at this point. <laughs> Cry me a river. Yes, it did. And when I mean hell throws over, I mean this is me standing in a WWE <laughs> on Monday Night Raw with a live microphone in my hand. Yes, that Don't part. Mean the fact that apparently a Blackhawks fan is universally loved inside the Predators bar. <laughs> which was a career highlight for me. I've been trying to come up with the words and the language to explain to all of you exactly how I feel. And I've come to two words and I'm afraid to say them, honestly. And it's not because they're not true. It's because I'm a little bit scared of how true they actually are. And it's a little bit corny and it's a little bit cheesy and it's not gonna sound like CM Punk. But I've changed. And once upon a time, an American dream taught me that as long as you speak from the heart, you cannot go wrong because it is the truth. And this is the truth. I'm home. Wow. Because this is where I belong. It just isn't any other place. And I've been gone for 10 years. And over 10 years, you people never forgot me, even when maybe I wanted to forget me. And that's powerful. You are all powerful. A bunch of continents, countless countries, Arenas all over the world, the people watching at home, the people in the building, never stopped chanting my name. The voiceless found their voice, and I couldn't be more proud of you, and I heard you, and that's why I'm back, because I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys, and I've missed you guys, and I've missed all of this, and I wish I could say I never had to leave. But once upon a time, a wise man told me for me to get everything I need out of this place, I'd have to leave and come back. Hmm. Paul Heyman. Hate to say the wise man was right. But that's why I'm back to get everything I need out of this place. I'm back for you, because you are home. This stuff doesn't feel real. This doesn't feel real. Saturday night was an amazing moment. Monday night is an amazing moment. Try to have the words to explain to you how it feels, but in front of and behind the camera, it's been nothing but love. It's been nothing but hugs. It feels like a family reunion. Everybody back there is happy to see me. It's all smiles. A few people kiss me on the mouth. It's welcome back. Welcome home. We've missed you. We're happy to see you. By the way, how's AJ? And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, AJ is fabulous, and she sends her regards. <laughs> we miss you, AJ. 
Everybody has welcomed me back with open arms. Except. Almost everybody. Yep, there it is. There it is. That's the one. Some people are afraid. They're afraid of the truth. They're afraid of what they don't understand, but I understand. Everything I've ever wanted has always been here. The competition here, week in and week out, competes to be the best in the world. But the best in the world has not been here for almost 10 years. Hmm. Pulling these I hairs. understand being afraid. They're afraid that I just set the bar to an unattainable level. They're afraid that the brass ring is in my back pocket and they can't grab it. They're afraid that the most dangerous and controversial feared man in this industry just walked through the front door and there's nothing that they can do about it. Mm. Some people are afraid that tomorrow morning when they wake up, they're going to have to come to terms with the fact that their best efforts at being the best in the world in this ring on this microphone mm. even a commentary in <laughs> I love it I love the callbacks because the best in the world is back and the best in the world is standing in the middle of the ring live and in living color in Nashville Tennessee on a Monday night and his name is <laughs> oh my god man wow what a way to end it what a way to end it i can't wait to see what's next